In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12, we read, Since we have such a hope, we are very bold. You know, God has amazing things in store for us, and we need to be bold and courageous if we are to receive them. You need boldness, because the enemy is not going to just sit back and let you waltz into your calling. He is going to fight and oppose you. He is going to try to stop you. When Joshua was appointed the new leader of God's people, he had some pretty big shoes to fill. Moses was a great leader, and to top that off, the land that God prepared for his people was full of giants and powerful nations. They were not going to just let the God's people walk in and take their land. So with all these things going on, Joshua was afraid. But here is what God told him. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 And God didn't tell him once, but several times. The enemy wants us to cower back in fear, so we don't possess what God has prepared for us, but we need to be bold. But we need to be careful as we talk about boldness, because when we are bold on our own, it can look pretty ugly, demanding, controlling, my way or the highway. A steamroller approach doesn't honor God and seldom gets the job done. We don't want to flatten people. We want to lift them up. We need to ask God for boldness so we can do the things He wants us to do. And the boldness He gives brings big changes in our lives. In the book of Luke, we read of a woman who needed an intervention. Because of her lifestyle, people looked down on her. She was rejected and an outcast because of her profession. And in her time, women were looked down upon. She was fed up with her lifestyle and needed a change. That is when she heard about Jesus and went to him. She was bold and didn't care what people would think of her. And behold, a woman of the town who was an especially wicked sinner, when she learned that he was reclining at table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment, perfume, and standing behind him at his feet with her tears, and she wiped them with the hair of her head, and kissed his feet affectionately, and anointed them with the ointment perfume. Luke chapter 7 verses 37 to 38 In her boldness she entered a stranger's home, and not just any stranger's home, but a Pharisee's home who most likely knew her and would judge her. But she didn't care. She needed something he had no idea of, that only Jesus could give. And because of her bold faith, she received what she needed. Therefore I tell you, her sins, many as they are, are forgiven her, because she loved much. But he who is forgiven little loves little. Luke chapter 7 verse 47 if we are going to receive what God has for us, we need to be boldness. We need a bold faith that will not be deterred by anyone or anything. Without boldness, we will be intimidated by the enemy horde in front of us. We will shrink back in fear because of the mountain in front of us. Still in the book of Luke, we read of a blind man. He obviously wanted to see again, but nothing could be done for him. He would live a life of blindness, but then one day Jesus came his way. It was not a mistake that Jesus walked his way that day. Jesus had something for him that the crowds around him had no idea of. So the man got bold and called out to Jesus. As he came near to Jericho, it occurred that a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, and hearing a crowd going by, he asked what it meant. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Luke chapter 18 verses 35 to 37. 
but the people around him silenced him and shushed him. He was making a scene, and they wouldn't have it. But the man got even bolder. His miracle was a few steps away, and he would not let Jesus pass him by without getting his miracle. Listen to the desperation and intensity he had because of his faith and boldness. And he shouted, saying, Jesus, son of David, take pity and have mercy on me. But those who were in front reproved him, telling him to keep quiet. Yet he screamed and shrieked so much more, Son of David, take pity and have mercy on me. Luke chapter 18 verses 38 to 39 The enemy wants us to be timid and afraid. He doesn't want us to receive what God has for us. But like the blind man, there is a boldness and desperation we need. We can't let our miracle just pass us by because we are afraid. We can't let the enemy silence us. We need to be bold. And because of the blind man's boldness, he got what we was believing for. And Jesus said to him, Receive your sight, your faith, your trust and confidence that spring from your faith in God has healed you. And instantly he received his sight and began to follow Jesus, recognizing, praising, and honoring God, and all the people, when they saw it, praised God. Luke chapter 18, verses 42 to 43. May we see the importance of being bold in this season. We need to be bold and not shrink back in fear. Let's pray. King Jesus, we want to be bolder. We don't want to shrink back in fear as we go after what you have for us. So, we ask for boldness. We remember how the apostles in the book of Acts prayed for boldness and how you responded to them. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. Acts chapter 4 verses 29 to 31 As we pray, we know you will answer us. You want us to have boldness, so that we can get from you what you alone can give. There is so much to be fearful of in the world around us, and so much that is happening to make us shrink back, but we need boldness to be a light in a dark place. As your children, we have boldness. Your word in the book of Proverbs says, The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. We will not run away from the trials ahead of us when the giants are standing in our way, but we will be bold and call on you for help. Father, we recognize that true boldness comes from you. It is not about being forceful or demanding our own way, but it is about having a steadfast faith and trust in you. It is about stepping out in obedience to your calling, even when we feel inadequate or fearful. Just as the sinful woman in Luke's gospel boldly approached Jesus, disregarding the judgment of others, may we too come to you with humble hearts, seeking your forgiveness and grace. We lift up our needs and desires before you, knowing that you alone can meet them. Give us boldness, Lord, to ask according to your will, and faith to believe that you hear our prayers and will answer in your perfect timing. Help us not to be intimidated by the challenges that lie ahead, but to face them with unwavering faith and courage. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.